Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Berkowitz from the Center for Balanced Health, and today we're going to discuss a really underappreciated disorder known as reactive hypoglycemia. Oftentimes we think a lot about diabetes and prediabetes. Over almost 70 million people actually in the United States have prediabetes, but we forget that there's another prediabetic condition known as reactive hypoglycemia. Reactive hypoglycemia is a condition where the, your blood glucose level drops within four hours after eating a meal, most commonly after a high carbohydrate meal. The reason uh, reactive hypoglycemia is often forgotten is people focus on diabetes and prediabetes. According to the Center for Disease Control, 30 million Americans are diabetic and another 84 million are prediabetic. The problem is these are often people that are diagnosed because they are overweight or have symptoms of diabetes. Whereas in reactive hypoglycemia, people don't always know they have symptoms. In traditional doctor's offices, we often do only two blood tests, uh, hemoglobin A1C, which is a three-month marker measuring the average blood sugar over that time period, and a fasting glucose level. The problem is, in reactive hypoglycemia, you don't often see that disorder until what we call a postprandial glucose level or a postandial insulin level. What that means is a glucose and insulin level two to four hours after consuming a meal, and often what we call a high glycemic meal or a glucose challenge. The better way to really kind of measure the disorder is to do what we call a glucose tolerance test with insulin levels, which is measuring glucose and insulin at fasting post high glucose drink at one hour, two hours, three hours, and up to five hours afterwards. What we'll often see is a fasting glucose level that often rises but within a short period of time drops. And that is often due to excessive production of insulin by the pancreas. Insulin is a problem and a hormone that's secreted by the pancreas in response to glucose load. The problem is that an excessive amount of insulin is actually produced. People with reactive hypoglycemia often feel symptoms such as fatigue, hunger, dizziness, lightheadedness, an inability to lose weight, cravings, dry mouth, increased urination, difficulty sleeping, and constant hunger. In my practice, I often see patients with profound hypoglycemia or reactive hypoglycemia. A great analogy for this is, is like a car. You go in to fill the car with gas only to find out later you have a large leak in the gas tank. One of the things that correlates with this greatly is eating something, realizing that you consumed all these calories to find out you're only hungry afterwards. Can you imagine consuming a lunch with 500 to 1,000 calories to realize you almost ate nothing because you're hungry again. Think about what that's going to do. That's going to cause you to actually put on weight oftentimes. This is due to the pancreas secreting excess amounts of insulin. What's happening is we have a fasting glucose that's often normal, followed by a rise in glucose after we consume a meal, only to find out that the pancreas is secreting large amounts of insulin to bring that glucose level down. The problem with that is, is that glucose level post-meal within two to four hours is often lower than fasting. It's almost like we have less energy after we eat. Can you imagine feeling you're hungry after you eat? What would we do about that? We'd be eating all day constantly without feeling energy.